Hi, my name is Jan Gongang, uh, CEO and co-founder of Virgo. Um, so, in a nutshell, Virgo is an on-demand booking concierge on video for your hotels. So, I think Joe was talking about trying to help you make money, and Virgo is about helping you save money on, uh, on hotel booking. I want to get a show of hands here. Who uses Kayak or any other meta search for hotel booking? All right. Keep your hand up, please, if you believe Kayak has the best price on hotels. Okay. About half the room. So where else do you do you go? Expedia. Orbitz. Okay. Direct to the hotel's website. All right. Did you say Motel Six? That's a good. That's a good one. <laughs> um, well, it turns out that usually Kayak, Expedia, Orbitz, and the hotel website have the exact same prices about 97% of the time. I've been in the hotel space for a while. We've been looking at prices, analyzing millions of prices on a probably weekly basis. The prices are the same because of an industry standard called rate parity. And I'll walk you through it and explain what Virgo does in here. But the, the, the value of Virgo is really to help you save time in the process of you know, searching through websites, finding the right hotel, finding the right area of town, but also getting the right price. All right, so I'm going to log in here as a user. And um, I've got one of my colleagues, Damien, on standby. Um, and so the way Virgo works is, it's basically, see, so you get uh, yours truly right there. And so it's pretty simple. It's a very different experience than what you've seen in travel. You basically connect to an agent. And the agent is able to show you both prices and hotels that you wouldn't see on Kayak. So I've prepped Damien, because this is something that I was working on this morning. Um, and there's, there's a search that we did for a customer this morning for Vegas. And I'm happy to take any one searches and just check it out. I'm sure I'm going to walk out of here with customers. Um, all right. So, all right, let's call Damien and see if this thing works. So the way this works is you actually have an agent pop up on video. Hi, this is Damien. Hey, Damien, how's it going? Jan here. Hi, Jan, how are you? Good. All right, so it looks like you've uh, set up that search for November 20th and 23rd in, uh, in Vegas. So the way Virgo works is we actually have access to about 80,000 hotel prices in the wholesale market. So these are the secret prices that Hotwire Priceline uses in their opaque system. Except they've always created a set of gimmicks, you know, for you to not, to, to not figure out which hotel it is. Well, with Virgo, you can see them. So, um, Damien, I'm looking for Vegas, 20th to the 23rd. Um, get me something nice and I want a really good deal. All right, so you're pushing some stuff on my screen right now. Notice I'm not clicking anything. Okay, so we've gone from 289. Yeah, you, you probably can't hear it. We should have figured out the sound here. Um, where is that four season? Okay, so that's here. So on that three night booking, he'd be saving $322. Notice that the kayak price is 289. So just to make sure that I'm not lying, let's go to kayak and see. Um, All right, so um, we're doing Las Vegas, Nevada, um, 20th to 23rd. Okay, so uh, Damien, I'm currently on kayak right now. So we're going... Okay, so Four Seasons, Las Vegas, not the Four Queens. Did it go down to 249? Okay, it looks like it went. Okay. Notice that the total price, the best price on Expedia on Kayak right now is 913. Um, I think the final price on Virgo for that Four Seasons is 675. Um, and so we have. 
thousands of hotels. There's basically about a, one or two dozen large wholesalers that cover the entire world. These wholesalers are not accessible to you traditional consumers. And the rate parity game is a game that we figured out a way to sort of get around. And, and there's a longer story behind Virgo, but in many ways we're bringing back the agent model in a video, in a video slash crowdsource format. Damien's role here is not just to show me these really cool prices, but it's also to help me figure out what is the right hotel. Notice I didn't have to click anything, and pretty soon, you know, we're still working on the software. This literally came out a month ago. Um, once we get to mobile in a few weeks, you'll be able to book without clicking. Uh, this is an important thing because no one has figured out how to do hotel booking with one to zero, zero to one click. It's almost impossible. Right? And so when you move to mobile, when you think about the various mobile interfaces, whether it's the phone, the glass, the smartwatch, the television, the car, the car nav system, we've actually booked a guy in Vegas uh, probably two weeks ago. He was literally driving his convertible while booking with us. And so the only way for you to do that is to have an interface where you can talk to someone live. And there is no way, how are we doing on time? Um, and so there's no way to do that unless you have a really intelligent conversation software. And we're not there yet. Siri is not there. So you need a, a human person in there. Not to mention the local knowledge, all the research. Notice that Damien, Damien, can you show me Vegas again? Uh, Damien can show me the map. What he's done is he's actually built a collection for me. So he built, he basically pushed three or four hotels that he thought I was going to be interested in. So I can have a conversation with Damien, and he can say, listen, based on what you're telling me, here are the four, five, six hotels that you want to look at. If you look at New York, New York has 900 hotels. Paris has 1,500 hotels. That's why going through Kayak, you have to go through so many different menus. Well, as we move towards that mobile interface, it's just impossible to do that. And this is why it takes so much time. You go to Kayak, TripAdvisor, Google, Google Map. I mean, it's just it's painful. Well, let's open it up to questions. Thank you. And Nisha is a regular customer. I had to it plug is, it in it there. It is true. <laughs> so at the end of your presentation, there's one of the winners in the room that's going to get some kind of free trip to Vegas or something. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. The um, Is that a question? <laughs> well, um, we turned it on, and the response was sort of overwhelming because it was initially free that we're actually turning it into a membership system. So maybe we'll give discounts on the membership. Go ahead. Yeah, um, I don't know what about all the rest, but when I'm booking a hotel, yeah. if it's not something that I need near to the airport just to take a nap, I would really like to play with the picture, you know? Do you like a menu food that you need to decide what the menu you want to, what dish you want to take for? So I, I like to play, see the picture, you know, fall in love with the hotel. Specific Specifically, if it's a vacation. So, what are you going to do if you're going to be very popular and a million people like me around the world are going to call you? How are you going to answer for a million people that is not sure that we're going to book on the same. I, I think I read somewhere the people booking on the second or the third time they are searched 48 hours ago or 24 hours ago. So, people searching, people asking questions. And then they book in on the day after or the two day after. So how are you going to handle with million and million is a small number compared to Expedia, right? So what are you going to do with million people that are just asking questions? Scale. Well, I mean, there's a lot of ways to scale that. I mean, there's a lot of ways to handle all the inquiries. We've <laughs> dealt with some of this over the past few weeks. That's actually why we're putting back a paywall to filter the inbound to make sure that the, the look to book ratio is favorable. Uh, it'll be a small fee, but it's just a way to kind of filter out the, you know, kind of the random, hey, you know. So in order to ask a question, I need to pay for it? You don't have to pay, you just, we would put a membership, think of Costco, right? So you don't just walk into Costco, you have to pay the, you know, I don't know, 30 or $40, something minimal that you would get back many times over in your, uh, in the discounts. Go so ahead. Do you, do you want us to sign up now and then log in and create a... Oh, we should. Is it an For as long as it's free. <laughs> it is free now. <laughs> Go ahead. What do you look for in your agents? Like what qualities? Yeah, uh, what do we look for for the agent? Um, so this is a good question. 
the, the agent model of yesterday was if I'm living in Palo Alto and I'm going to Munich, I walk downtown to Palo Alto into a travel agent, they look at a book, I could have done that myself, and they basically help me pick a room in Munich. The Virgo model is you have an agent in Munich who knows Munich, who understands your, your needs, probably knows Munich, knows um, um, Amsterdam, knows Brussels, cities in that region, and are able to help you. And so they have the ability, and so the, the, the model actually for us is more of the, um, the flight attendant. Um, and so we're actually part of why we have to slow things down is we're bringing some more agents on board um, as we speak and training them. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Just curious, have you considered a sort of model where somebody who helps somebody find a good experience in like the United States would get a waived membership fee into Virgo when they want to go to Munich? As a hobby? Yeah, something like that. I think it, yeah, the question is, have we considered a model where someone does it as a hobby to help someone out, kind of a community model? You require a little bit more commitment than just a hobby commitment and knowledge, and obviously we want the agents to get paid, right? And so there's a, there's a, give, there's a give and take there. One last question? One last question. Uh, did, you, did you say it was impossible to take this mobile just now? I didn't say that. Okay. I said this is actually the, you're, you're looking at a really rough version. I mean, this is like the early <laughs> beta release. Um, to us, this is the best mobile execution of travel anywhere. The ability to book travel with one or zero click. Right now, it's not on mobile. Now, in a few weeks. Is the video embed flash? No. It's WebRTC. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye.